Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harps and cymbals sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. Glory and honor are in his presence, strength and gladness are in his place. Now therefore arise, O Lord God, into thy resting place, thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests, O Lord God, be clothed with salvation and let thy saints rejoice in goodness. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure enlightening the eyes. For his anger endureth but a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble, thou hast known my soul in adversities. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord it shall rejoice in his salvation. Let them shout for joy and be glad, and favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. Then I will go unto the altar of God. Unto God my exceeding joy, yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously, and govern the nations upon earth. Selah. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee, and let such as love thy salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. And he brought forth his people with joy and his chosen with gladness. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I rejoice at thy word, as one that findeth great spoil. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints shout for joy. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon and for our justification. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is joy. The light of the righteous rejoice, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of a merry heart hath a continual feast. A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season, how good is it!
The light of the eyes rejoice the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begetteth a wise child shall have joy of him. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory, but when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Therefore with joy shall we draw water out of the wells of salvation. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar, for mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my soul shall be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create, for behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. Thy words were found, and I did eat them, and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart, for I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good, and will plant them in this land, assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. In that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repents, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. And he that reapeth receiveth wages and gathereth fruit unto life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. And you now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame were healed, and there was great joy in that city. And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenice and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles, and they caused great joy unto all the brethren. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy, and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus, to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. 
Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not, charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you, all making request with joy. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. Rejoice evermore. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Let us be glad and rejoice, and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready.